everyone, my name is Chris, and welcome to Metal Gear Solid Part 12. Let's go. Um, so last time Johnny went to the bathroom, I think I had fucked up. Oh, hell no. You know what? You guys are going to see me do it live. Look at all my wires! Look at them! I have to turn this off. Sorry for the noise. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. It happens. I have a, a weird... We have a weird fire alarm thing. But I'm trying to see if I messed up or not. Hopefully, Otacon will come right now. I just called him. Oh, yes! Okay, perfect. This is awesome. Okay, I'm going to show you guys this, because I think it's funny. Hey, I'm here! I see you. <laughs> see, I don't know why I find that funny. You don't have to be next to him, but, you know. It's me, Otacon. All right, so you can do it anytime. All right, that's great. See, I learned something new. You learn something new every time. I learn. I really feel like I learn something new every time I play this game. So. Let me go. Yeah, Snake's kind of being a dick. It's like an animal's cage. Oh, what a smell! Because of him. Yeah. The Derpa chief. Derpa. Instead of Darpa. Derpa. I think it's because the actor is Canadian. It's something they actually did quite commonly. Uh, Allison Court, who voices Claire Redfield, or who voiced Claire Redfield, voiced her in Resident Evil 2 and Code Veronica, and uh, also came back for that movie uh, Damnation, or Degeneration, I think it was called, Degeneration. Um, and it's because all those were filmed, I think were recorded in, in or around Canada. Um, but I think the new Resident Evil wasn't recorded in Canada, so they just didn't hire her, and it's kind of a bummer. Because I did not like the new Claire voice at all. But like to each his own. It's another game for another time, my friend. Care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But all the D.O. double G. Them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. <laughs> that is logic. If you like dogs. So son of Sam, he listened to a dog. He was a good person. Well, that's all I can He do. claimed that he listened to a dog. Nuke. I've got to stop them. You have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. God I'll damn it. Take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take <laughs> anybody out. You have to. <laughs> oh, Johnny. Finishing taking a shit in the background. Oh, man. <sighs> oh, jeez. He's coming back. Ah, jeez. Wait. You damn asshole. Okay. So, you get the catch up. And you use it. That's the only thing the catch up does. So now it looks like Snake's dead. So you have to basically stay absolutely still. Johnny's going to come back now. And see you in a puddle of what he thinks is blood. What the hell? See? So he thinks you're dead. Uh, and you can't move. If you move, you fuck it up. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I ruined that. I don't kill him because it's not canon. Haha. <laughs> you damn fool. It's just not canon. You don't. You could knock him out, but I like doing this because it's an extra cutscene of him running to the bathroom, which I think is hilarious. And now, while he's in the bathroom, <laughs> poor Johnny. He's got that diarrhea. I don't have his bat anymore, um, but you know, I do this because it's basically a free ration. Um, I don't have it as bad anymore, but oh my god! In in when I was doing undergraduate college in my early uh, 20s. Oh my god, I had the worst diarrhea ever. So this is a bomb that, uh, you know what, let's let's be a little, let's be uh, badasses here. That's a bomb you have to get rid of, but let's see how long I could uh, hold on to it. That's a bomb Ocelot put in you, because he's a dick. But let's see if I could throw it um, by the snow. Let's see if I could make it that far. Pretty sure it's an instant kill, so I don't remember now, but just in case. But yeah, so now this is the last time you go through this whole area. Um, I could stop and look for some items, but 
I like to live dangerously. And of course, there's guards here, so fuck off. I don't care. To go here. Oh man, I made it. But yeah, Ocelot puts a bomb in you. I think it's only if you survive the torture. If you submit, I don't think he does it. But you have to open this up, and you have to do that, and you throw it out. And then it explodes, and you narrowly escape death. It's amazing. And then the colonel calls you. I don't think you need to answer it, so I won't. But basically, the colonel's like, That was a close one, Snake! And then uh, Snake goes, Ocelot, you'll pay for that. Always, I don't get it. Oh, jeez. All right, we did it. Um, even though I'm kind of like playing like shit right now. But yeah, this is the last time we have to go through all this stuff. So yay, we don't have to go back here. Okay, cool. What? Oh shit. I thought he was gone. Maybe he won't notice me. Come on, dude. Don't notice me. Alright. Yay. We did it, guys. We did it. Now I'm definitely going to take it easy with... Uh, This dude, wherever the fuck he is, love this song. One of my favorite songs in the game. Look at that, you can see through. That snakes his powers, you can see through things. Oh shit. Where the fuck is this other guy? Oh, okay, he's gone. Yeah, I always thought it was kind of weird there's no female guards on the base. Kind of like I, I thought it was really weird there's no children zombie in Raccoon City. Like, these are the type of things I thought of when I played these games back then. I'm like, I don't get it. Wouldn't there be kids in Raccoon City? And wouldn't there be female... I mean, Meryl's... The, you're telling me Meryl's the only female soldier in the entire base? I find that very hard to believe. Yay, I did it. Alright, I think it's B1. Who the fuck knows, though? I always get these things wrong. Um, but alright, cool. So yeah, last time we're going to see all this. Last time we see Sico, Sico Mantis, everything. So you guys, I hope you enjoy this, guys. Last time we'll go through this hallway. Because now we're going to have to... That's a doozy, man. See, last time we're going through this office with... Look at this 90s-ass computer. Look at that. Look at that 90s-ass laptop. Man, I remember, like, sincerely, I remember going with my parents. Hold on, let me show you. I remember going with my parents to um, Sam's. I don't know if you guys are, that exists wherever you live, but Sam's is a, basically like a, like a whole uh, sale store, so you buy shit in bulk. Um, like a BJ's, not a blowjob, but there's a place called BJ's. Um, and there's another place that I forget got what it was called but basically um sam's you would go there and um you know they have like a food court and all this other crap see oh by the way sorry to stop it see i have the handkerchief smells faintly of sniper wolf so now hanker the hanker hanker for some hunker so you can go through here now it's called scarf in the japanese version which i think is really weird i don't know why i said scarf so weird right now scarf um, but yeah, it's really a handkerchief, I guess. Even though I don't understand why. Why does that? Oh no, it has to be because later on, I have no more tears to shed. That's what Snake says. Um, but anyway, we were at Sam's and that like old ass laptop or whatever. I remember seeing it. And do you guys remember that weird, like, for lack of better word, it was like a nipple. It looked like a nipple, like a really hard nipple. And you'd put your finger on it and ba I don't know how, but it would sense the direction you were pushing in and the mouse would move all over the place that weird nipple thing it was like in the middle of the keyboard it was before trackpads were made that's bizarre man i did not get that i i did not understand that i thought it was kind of cool as a kid i'm like this is kind of cool it's like a different mouse but in my head i'm like well i'll fucking take a mouse any day 
Um, and then, oh god, mice got so much better. I actually spoke to my... I was talking to my wife, and she's only two years younger than me, okay? Like, she was, I was born 87, she was born 80, 89. And uh, I was... I guess she didn't get a computer until much later, because I was telling her, like, don't you remember mice when they used to have, like, the balls inside? Do you remember that? And she's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, you don't remember the little ball, the mouse ball? And you had to take it out and clean it and stuff, because dust would get in it, and it wouldn't make the mouse work well. And she's like, what are you on about? I'm like, oh my god, you don't remember that? That's how... I don't know if you guys remember that, but mice, mice were like that. So the little nipple mouse thing, like everyone's like that's the future and then you know they made this where it's like a fucking this mouse where it's like that it's a fucking you know like laser and uh it just made so much more sense to be a, la a laser and then you know no one fucking cared about that anymore everyone's like it's a laser you don't fucking need a mouse anymore and it's it's true you really just you know like the cleaning thing i mean or the nipple thing all that's trackpads are pretty cool though i i dig trackpads i actually if i ever show you guys my computer setup i basically have this imac and then i have um you know like a little drawer thing that comes out i have my keyboard and then next to the keyboard i have a mouse and then i have uh, a trackpad on the side so if i'm ever like drinking something i could still use the trackpad um and it's pretty cool i mean i prefer a mouse personally but um like a you know you just move around like that but trackpads aren't too bad man they get the job done so you know i used i had a laptop for the longest time i just was rocking a a macbook i think it was like a 2008 um that I got when I was an undergraduate, and uh, you know that was pretty cool. And then when I was in grad school, I, I my computer was like dying. It was like crap. I mean, it's, it was worked pretty well, but it was like really crapping up. So then I got the uh, the 2012, I think it was. Forget about Meryl. Or the 2013, I can't remember, but I got the the 2012, 2013 iMac, and I love my iMac. Oh my god, I love my iMac. My wife has the new one because she got her computer this year. Actually, she got in January or December, so she has um she has a better one. It's like a 2014 or something. I don't know, but uh yeah, I love IMAX. They're so powerful, and I've only had like maybe I could count the number of problems I've had with the computer on one hand. Not to say that I'm I'm not pro I'm pro Mac for me personally, but I'm not like one of those people that's like fuck PCs, man. Macs all the way or you know, vis-a-vis, -vis, where it's like, fuck Mac, PC all the way. I don't, dude, whatever tickles your pickle, man. Get what you like and, and roll with it. Because you got to be comfortable with what computer you're using. I just I prefer Mac, but I have Windows installed on it. I could switch. I, I, de I gave some of my hard drive space so I could switch back and forth. So, Fuck the haters, yo. Naomi. David Hater. you didn't have any family. Well, I, I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about Oh, him. yeah, I've been talking over this whole plot point. So here's, we get one last codec call, and basically Naomi is, like, revealing more of herself. She's like, oh, fucking, uh, you know, this happened, and, uh, my grandfather worked for the, uh, this, and uh, that. And then, uh, what's his name? Master Miller is like, what are you talking about? I thought you said this. Is the blood still there? Did they clean it up? You guys have not cleaned up Sniper Wolf's blood. Look at all this blood. No one's cleaned this up. That's despicable. Anyway, that's what Sniper Wolf saw. That's where she killed Meryl. I never really stopped to look at it. I guess I'll take these bullets. I can dodge bullets. Alrighty. And now we're ready for the next part of the game, which... Sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to stop playing. We'll we'll catch up with this. I think next week we're gonna have something. Um, we actually have a lot of cool stuff coming up. I'm still doing a playthrough with my wife right now on WarioWare. So if you guys want to see us just having fun and acting a fool, do that. Um, but yeah. So anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, click the subscribe button and join the CR Happen Army, building an army to help me take on all these games. Um, but I really appreciate you guys just watching the video all the same. And, um, yeah, we'll be back. We're going to keep playing. This is my favorite game of all time, so we're definitely going to keep playing till the end. Um, all right, guys, we'll see you next week. Take care.